I wanted to get a day job. This was, I don't know, 20 some odd years ago. And, uh, and I'd had a business with my folks. It was a small print and copy shop. I knew nothing about it, but um, I took all the failures of my other businesses and, and did the opposite of that and did really well with it and we were able to uh, raise the business up quite a bit, drive, you know, make it much more profitable and my folks were able to sell it off and retire. Um, and so I thought, well, you know, I'll go see about this copier job. So I went to this company, I shall remain nameless, and for an interview, and I walked in, she goes, oh, just fill out the application and you know, Mr. X will see you shortly. And I was like, oh, no, that's okay. I'm not, I don't fill out the application. I've already got my you know, CV with me, my whatever. She just kind of looked at me, sat down, waited, and I got a chance to go and sat down with Mr. X, really nice man. <clears throat> and uh, it was, the job was just, it was terrible. They're gonna give me the worst, I knew what they're gonna do. They're gonna be the worst territory, and it's gonna be business, you know, business, business sales. And um, I'm going to try to get them to buy copiers from this company. And uh, the, the pay was going to be nothing. There wasn't going to be a car allowance or cell phone allowance or laptop allowance or insurance or any you know, benefits or medical or dental or anything. And I was like, that, you know, I get it. I know the drill. But I'll show my worth and you know, things will change. Well, uh, we'd done this listening exercise in an acting class I was doing at the time. And... And it was really mind-blowing when we did it. For me, it was because uh, uh, I, I had an experience with the actress that I was working with that, that night. And uh, I just watched this whole shift occur in her. I didn't say anything. She was just talking. And I was listening with 100% focus. Which, by the way, just doing that, it's, almost, it's exhausting the first time you do it. But it was also really interesting and liberating. And so I thought, I'm going to try that today. So I'm sitting in this interview, and uh, we, we say a few pleasantries back and forth. And he says, well, tell me about yourself. I go, well, you know, there's a lot I could say about myself, but, you know, I, I would really like to hear, like, what your biggest challenges are. Who's been great at this job? Who's not been great at this job? Anything that you could share with that would be really helpful to me. Um, and uh, I don't want to waste your time and... and, and uh, I certainly wouldn't dream of wasting your time. I think that was like the, the totality of what I said. And then I didn't say another word for 45 minutes. And he just started to talk. And it was a little bit like, you know, I could see in his mind like, what the hell is this? <laughs> right? Who is this man? Yeah, who is this guy, right? Which, which, you know, it's actually like a really smart move. I wasn't trying to be smart or anything or saying I'm necessarily smart. But uh, anyway... Uh, all I did for the next 45 minutes was like, mm -hmm. oh, really? Wow. But I was actively listening. There are things you can do. I won't get into it here that you, you train yourself to actively listen. And eye contact, total focus. And I'm literally hearing everything you're saying. And I did that for 45 minutes with this guy. And he just kept opening up more and more. And smile came across his face about five minutes in and it wouldn't leave. 20 minutes in, he's telling me funny stories and anecdotes about his family and stuff. And it just kept on going. And about the 45-minute mark, I remember that well. He goes, you know what, man? I'm not going to give you this position. I can't. This, this position, man, you're better than this. I can't do that to you. And oh, wow. that broke me for a second. I didn't speak, but I was like, what did he just say? And I went right back to listen to him. He goes, listen, man, th this, is the worst, this is the worst position. I'll tell you what. I want you to come and meet the president of the company. Come, He's got to meet you. Hang on one second. And he got up to leave, and I was like, oh, my God, what's going on? <laughs> and he goes down, and gets the president, and calls me. We walk down to the president's office and introduce him to the guy. And the guy's like, oh, I hear great things about you. Yeah, we'd love to have you on board. And uh, I've given him full, uh, full authority to give you, you know, uh, the, this route and da-da-da, this district, this territory. I'm like, okay, well, great, nice to meet you. And they sat me down, and they offered me this, like, really great job. I mean, there was, the first thing was like a $30,000 a year job. And I ended up, they offered me, like I want to say, 85000 a year plus uh, bonuses and commission, which would end up being, I don't know, like around 150 a year, maybe more. This is, you know, 20 some odd years ago with a car, with insurance, with a cell phone, with a laptop, full benefits right out of the gate in one of their best territories. Did you take it? No. <laughs> no. Two, and there's two reasons why. Number one, I was stunned. 
I couldn't believe that just happened. Like, I was just doing this acting, listening exercise that this is, wow. And I was just kind of tripping because of what had happened with the actress and I when we were doing this exercise the night before. Both of us fully aware of what was going on. But she couldn't help it. She, the same thing that happened to her on a much more personal uh, level happened in the room with that gentleman, with Mr. X. And uh, I just, wow. And then I thought about it. I was like, I can't do that. That's like a, that's a job job, man. What am I going to, I can't go do this. I can't take time off and work. I can't go to audition in the middle of the day when they're, I can't do that. And so I, you know, respectfully declined. He goes, don't, listen, I, you're a winner. You're on your way. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I just listened to the man. Did you ever think about that job? Uh, if, if there were a few bumpy times and say, I should have taken it, or were you even glad when there were bumpy times? I'm glad I never, because that's a full committed career it, pretty it, much. well yeah it is yeah, yeah. there he was like me listen you, you you'd have my job i'm kind of glad he said you'd have my job in, in six months if you were here i can see it in your eyes i'm like what the fuck is this guy talking about <laughs> uh, i did I, you know i probably a mixture of both back and forth you know when i was like oh my god but uh, ironically when i decided not to take that job uh i i just kind of went on a tear and started working back to back to back to back to back. And uh, yeah, but yeah, I mean, that would have been nice in a lot of ways. I remember there was a, the, the, you know, the class I was in that occurred, I, I mentioned to the guy who was teaching the class about that. And, and he's a, just a real, like, wrestling with his own demons. Well, that's all I'll say wasn't always the most pleasant cat, which was one of the reasons I, I like, I can't be with this guy. And it was kind of a bittersweet because I, like, this exercise that we had done, I thought, this is so amazing. However, you know, the personality leaves so much to be desired. I don't want to be around that anymore. So, uh, but I, this, this, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I told the guy what had happened in this, you know, job interview, like four or five days before. And he looks at me and goes, don't do that. Stay in this business. You stay here, keep doing this. And I was like the nicest thing he'd ever said. And I was like, where, first of all, where the hell did that come from? Thank you, but where the hell did that come from? I was like, I don't know, it was interesting. Interesting. It's interesting when you have someone that doesn't have to be nice to you and they end up giving you a compliment. I think it's probably more I, I, trustworthy. Well, yeah, it is, you're right. But I, I think that guy should be nice because he's <laughs> taking money from people to provide a service. And behaving opposite of that, yeah. Sure. I'm not that guy. I'm not. I hear you. I, I hear can't you. be around that. That I can't be around that guy or that gal. Yeah. 